Today I'm sharing with you an amazing website from sqlbi.com that is ducks.do. Normally whenever you write your ducks code, you need uh, either Excel, either you need a tabular model or you need um, Power BI desktop. But for this, you don't need anything. So this is the online platform. The underlying database for ducks.do is Contoso. And here you can see the there are different tables, currency, customer, date, product, and sale. And if you click here, if you want to see the underlying um, diagram, so you click here, and uh, here you can see there is a one fact table that is sale, the currency, date, customer, and product. And uh, if you go back. If you expand customer, so here you can see different columns in this table. And if you click table, this one, so here you can see the the name of uh, table is customer. The number of rows are 18869, column is or 24. And uh, here you can see if you want to change the theme, you can click here. And uh, for, uh, if you click options, you will see different options here. Editor, save history, uh, if spacing, relevant lines. So these are all the things. So here you need to write your Dux code. So the same, uh, just like uh, we do in the Dux Studio, evaluate and uh, then the, the string hello world. If you run it, so you can see the value is here we are getting the hello world string. So if we want to write a measure, then how we will do this? You need to write one keyword, define measure. This is the name of the measure and uh, HH colon MM. So this is the formatting for the time. And then after writing this measure, then we need to use evaluate and the name of the measure my time. So if you run, so as you can see, I'm getting the current time. So let's write one more measure here. So here you can see uh, the keyword define. The measure name is margin percentage. So the first variable revenue and uh, we are multiplying quantity with net price. And in the same way, cost quantity with sale unit, the margin revenue minus cost, and the result is divide margin over revenue. And this is the result. And uh, here you can see, now we need to utilize this uh, measure, margin percentage. So we need to write evaluate, summarize column, and uh, the first parameter is the column name, that is product brand, and then the name of the, the, the measure, that is percentage, margin percentage. So as you can write anything like sale, sales margin percentage, and order by margin percentage. So if we click run, so here you can see the brand and uh, the first column is the brand and the next column is the sale margin percentage, right? So if you want to see the underlying data for sale or product, so how we will do this? You just need to write here, evaluate. And uh, then drag product, for example, product and click run. So here you can see we are getting all the columns and uh, the underlying data, right? So here you can see below, this is the history. Like evaluate first we, first we run the product and then this measure, this measure and all these things. So if you want to remove, you just need to click here and clear history. So let me show you one more thing. For example, if I copy paste, uh, this measure and run 
so here you can see brand and the percentage margin percentage so you can see here this is the table view and uh, this is the column chart view so you can visualize your results with the help of graph as well and uh, this one is the line chart view and uh, this one is the pie chart right so th this is a very cool project from sqlbi.com so if you want to learn more about duxa do so you can go to the sqlbi.com and you you can learn many more cool things there and with the help of duxa.do you can practice your dux or you can sharpen your dux programming skills anytime anywhere without using power bi desktop or excel or the tabular model so if you like this video please subscribe our channel and if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you